the magic of marketing, where each week you get a hot tip to help you grow your business and change the world. I'm your host, Jennifer Trask, and today I'm so excited to have the Invested Mama with us. This is Jackie McCann Scott. Welcome to the show, Jackie. Hi, everybody. I'm so happy to have you here. I'm excited too. And I'm happy because Jackie has a really interesting story. This is one that you're probably going to relate to. I think most people are going to relate to this. And this is really about uh, some of the things that had to happen, learning to let go to actually allow success to come in and big change. And this has happened to Jackie recently, and I've been so honored to watch it. So don't leave, like stay tuned. This is good stuff. <laughs> this is this is a, what a lot of people, a lot of us all struggle with. And, mm -hmm. and I think not just when you are growing your business initially, this is whenever you're taking your business to a new level. Mm -hmm. So, so before we get into that, let's uh, tell everybody uh, what you do and, and what you're about and, mm -hmm. and how you got to be where you are. Well, I've been in, I guess, the financial services world for close on 14 years now. And uh, the first 10 of those years, I worked in one area helping parents set up education plans for their kids. Okay. And I trained a team of people and I did that. And even though it was very singular focused, you'll get to hear a lot of what worries people have around their money when you're sitting across the table discussing their children's futures, their finances, and that sort of thing. So when I felt the time was right, I decided to move into a full service financial planning you know, realm, right? And, you know, invested a lot of time and, and effort into <clears throat> bringing all my skills and all my, um, you know, products up to where they needed to be. So, but again, regardless of how many products you're asking, you know, and had available to your clients, the process was still the same. It was very much about sitting down and understanding what was important to people around their money, where they saw themselves in the future, what was holding them back from that future, you know, areas where they hadn't even considered that they were potentially at risk when it came to their money. Right. And so after doing that for a while, I realized that there was very much a reactive type of market out there when it came to financial planning. Sure. You have a child, you get an education plan, you buy a house, you get mortgage insurance. You know, you get a job, you get disability plans, that sort of thing. Uh, but no one was really, in my opinion, especially with a female-centered approach, right. realizing that most of the people making the decision now, statistically about 90% <coughs> of the decision makers around money in households and businesses are female, Right. Uh, but a very high percentage of the financial advisors out there are still male. So there was a bit of a disconnect there, and I said, how can I fill that gap? And Invested Mama was rolling around in my head for a number of years yeah. until I met you yeah, and I got brave <laughs> and said, it's time to bring this vision to light yes. and to get out of my own way because Invested Mama is unique and that's okay. Yes. It doesn't need to be like everybody else. In fact, I think it's quite bad. <laughs> <laughs> and I do now too. <laughs> but, and then, you know, it was about saying, okay, I think there's something, I'm onto something here, but I really don't know how to bring it to the market. Right. And that's when I sought out the services of Jennifer Trask International. Yeah. And, uh, and it's just been a, a wild ride ever since. And I can't believe I ever doubted it now that we've been through the process that we've been through. Because right. it's, you know, it's exactly the voice that I needed and it's the voice that the market needed. So, right. Yeah. So just to give you a little bit of background, since obviously uh, I've been working with Jackie, which has been great. And, but I actually remember... The meeting that we had downtown, mm -hmm. we met in person for coffee, which is our best That's way to meet, at, at least when you're in the same city, which is mm -hmm. great. Um, and Jackie was telling me the story of, well, what she kind of just told you, but she hadn't started in Best it was just a thought. Mm -hmm. And I remember the hesitancy. I, I remember, like, it was, it was, you were on the cusp, and you were so close, and you mm -hmm. thought, well, I need to wait for this, and I need to wait for that, and. Yeah. So, so I know that there are a lot of people out there, and whether it's because they want to start a new brand, mm -hmm. or they want to just take their business to the next level, make big changes mm -hmm. so they can serve more people, maybe make a larger income, make a larger impact. Um, so let's talk about the process of what happened to you mm -hmm. so that allowed you to take the leap and say, you know what? We're doing it. Mm -hmm. Press go. So, mm -hmm. so where were you sort of, I guess, emotionally in your head at the time? Well, I was really 
once I started getting, because I had years of experience dealing with people around their money issues, and because I had an existing group of clients, once I got more products that I was able to offer those clients, the business was naturally starting to grow anyway. Right. Things were happening, and I was busy, and financially things were going well. But at the end of 2012, I said, okay, is this really how I want to do this? Right. Do I want to try and be all things to all people? Right. Um, and I was finding myself in situations where I could tell immediately there wasn't a good fit between what my approach was and what this particular client was looking for. Right. And I was afraid, number one, of being judged by my peers for launching something so, you know, different than Invested Mama. Sure. I was also concerned that there was going to be enough clients that fit my ideal client that would continue to move me in that growing direction. Right. So there was two things happening. And I've always been someone who I thought strove for excellence, but I realized I was actually someone who was seeking perfection. Ah. And the real turning point came when I realized perfection is about how other people judge you. Excellence is about how you judge yourself. Mm. And once I realized I want to do the right job and the job I know I'm capable of, I don't feel like I'm doing everything that I was put here to do. Right. And a real turning point, and it was, you know, it was like the perfect storm, I guess, of you know, coincidences, which there are none, Right. Uh, was just shortly after we started working together, I went to the Wayne Dyer presentation, and he talked about knowing that you were on the right track. Right. And he said, when you're on the right track, you will be fully supported. Oh, I love that. And I realized at that point that all these people were, were telling me, you need to do this, you need to do this. And the voice inside myself, most importantly, was saying, you need to do this. Yes. So I, I left there and said, yes, I'm going to do this. And once we said... We had our marketing marathon mm -hmm. session, and we committed to Invested Mama, and we came up with moving you and your money forward yes. as our tagline, which it's all about for these <coughs> invested, busy mamas, mm -hmm. you know, making themselves feel like they're accomplishing and moving, and moving forward. forward. Yep. Since we made that decision, like literally within weeks, offers started coming for other things. Referrals started coming. The ideal client, every time I sit down now, I feel like I'm in front of my ideal client and it's so much fun. They're you so know? much fun when you work with your work ideal client. can be so much fun. Yes, and absolutely. you know, when you have found your voice, you're authentic to that voice, and the people you're talking to recognize that this is who I'm dealing with. You know, she's yes. not trying to be someone else. She's She is herself. She knows what she has strengths in, she knows where she needs to improve, but she's not going to give me anything but the right answer, you know, in the moment, and right. uh, it just, I was fully supported, you know, since that time, we've launched the Invest at Mama blog on the Telegram website, uh, we're in the process of developing a website, which I'm really excited about, slowly building a social media presence, and even though in part of our plan, I see myself wanting to do speaking engagements, I hadn't started looking for them, but one of them found me. Right. So all of that led me to believe that, yes, this voice is my authentic voice because, you know, people are listening to it. So, right. um, so it's been a real evolution. It's always about more than the marketing. Isn't it? It's always about more than the marketing. When it's you never called really it, about the marketing. When you called it the magic of marketing, <coughs> for me, that was the magic part. It was the part of saying through sitting back and, and really reflecting and, and the ID, I guess, brainstorming ideas and thinking about what you wanted to do and what you didn't want to do. Yeah. The magic happened. Doesn't it? It really, really it happened. Does. Yeah. And really what I'm hearing for you is the the trust part is so important, right? Mm -hmm. So the biggest thing that I hear from coaches because they're we are the brand, right? Mm -hmm. So even though Invested Mama is your brand, like you're still the face. It's, it's still it's yeah. still Jackie from the Invested Mama, right? And so there's so much, uh, you know, when you're putting yourself, I guess it's like movie stars, tune away. They're putting themselves out there, opening mm -hmm. themselves up to whatever good and bad mm -hmm. might come with that. Mm -hmm. And so um, I guess what I'm hearing for you is you just one day decided, I don't care anymore. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's about staying true to myself. Absolutely. Absolutely. Right. And I went from being really <clears throat> nervous about the, I guess, again, you know, the universe has a funny way of, of kind of nudging you when you're on the right path. And for me, I went to a session in September with all my peers. It was right. our fall road show where we get all the latest and greatest advice about how to make our businesses as right. successful as they can be. And the guest speaker talked about 
working on your business and not in your business, and that the very successful advisors yes. step back, yes, focus, yes. identify the markets they're going to concentrate mm -hmm. on and how those markets align with their own you know, particular interests and strengths, and the really great ones hire outside help yes. to help guide them into a business plan. I could right. have remained busy forever and done yes. well, but there's something different when you're not just busy, you feel like you're doing something with purpose. Yeah. And that's what's happened with this process. So I was sitting there in a room full of my peers, listening to someone tell them all they should do what I had just started to do. Right. And I was like, <laughs> thank you. Yeah, that was like, validation. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It was it was such a reassuring thing. And yes. you know, and then someone got up and talked about social media strategies. Check. You know, <laughs> don't name yourself something everyone else has named themselves in your industry. Different sometimes trumps better. And I was yeah. like, check. <laughs> so I sat in a one-day session and I left that meeting and I called you. I'm like, just wanted to tell you that, <coughs> yeah, we're doing the right thing here. And it was just, you know, so yes. funny to say, I can't believe I didn't trust my instincts for so long. Yes. And it took partnering up with you yes. and the Magic Marketing Program to bring that to life. Right. It was just, you know, it was it was funny. It was, you know, reassuring and, you know, I think, you know, the universe was getting the last laugh at me like, told ya. We told did it. it was easy. Exactly. You kept pushing. You kept right. pushing. And I had uh, just another funny story was an advisor who's a senior advisor who's very well respected, you know, in our market and who's very good at what he does, came up to me and he's at a meeting and he said, hi, invested mama. And I said, hi, how are you? He said, do I need your autograph to talk to you today? And I said, well, you always did. <laughs> and we just chuckled. And I realized he wasn't being condescending. He no. was just kind of saying, good on you. Yes. And, you know, but again, I didn't need to hear that because yeah. I already knew that you knew. I'm doing the best I can with what I've been given. And that's what it's all about. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Well, I absolutely love that story. So let's say that if someone was in... Currently, they're watching this. They're in your shoes, wherever they are in their business. When you, before you made the switch, so, mm -hmm. so what would you tell that person? If, because I know everyone who watches this, they're watching it because they have their, they want to move forward. Even if they're living their dream, they're, I mean, you, you get a goal, then you get another one, right? Mm -hmm. I and mean, you keep, you keep moving forward. So, if someone is feeling that sort of stuckness, mm -hmm. um, what advice would you give to them based on your experiences? Well, when I made the decision that I wanted to really focus on how I was going to move my business forward, because that nagging voice was saying, you just scratched the surface, you right. just scratched the surface. And I, I suspect there's many people watching this that that voice, yes. in one variation or another, that statement is saying, you know you're capable of more. more. Yes. And the, for me, it was very important because I am an invested mama, because I have, you know, a wonderful husband and two great kids and a family and friends that support me. I needed to know that they had my back. Right. Because I recognized in order to do the work, I was going to have to step back from the busy, right, you know, the busy cycle I was in. Right. And that would mean a reduction in my income for a period of time. Right. And I said, okay, if I'm going to step back from clients and work on myself as a client. Yes. That's and right. what is it that I'm looking for? Because right. really, how can I authentically give advice if I haven't taken it myself? Sure. So once I knew that everybody was on board, right. every now and then in the first few months, you know, my husband would say, so is everything still good? <laughs> and I'd say, was this a good decision for us? Yeah, and I'd say, yeah, everything's good. And, you know, and he'd say, okay. And I'd say, look, I am that confident. Yes. And that you gotta you gotta find that. I'm yes. that confident that this is all going to work out the way, you know, that I envision it to. Yes. That we can take this. We can yes. take a little setback, you know, sure. in our you know, in our we can cut off a few of the luxuries that we have so sure. I can direct that money to to a marketing program. Right. You have to decide you really want it and yeah. you have to make sure you've got, you know, the the support around you. Sure. And then once you've got that done, don't look back. Yeah. You cannot look back. Right. Be as committed to this as you've ever been committed to anything because once it starts to take off, you know, you'll you'll look back and say, I can't believe I ever ever you know, I didn't do this five, ten years minutes. ago. Yeah. And and that you gotta let go too because things happen when they're meant to happen. That's right. You know, but because right. uh, I was like, I can't believe I wasted all these years. But they were <coughs> a waste, you know, and uh yeah. sky's the limit. 
So one of the things you said I really love, and I wanted to sort of extra point it out, because I see it so often, mm -hmm. um, you really have to be ready to commit to the time mm -hmm. and the financial investment. Absolutely. Um, because when, when, I mean, I don't know, but I know, I, don't, I know for myself, I can't speak mm -hmm. for anyone else, but you know, even the investment in my own personal development, which is professional development, of mm -hmm. course, and going to seminars, and I have a coach, and mm -hmm. you know, marketing and graphics and the whole gamut. Yeah. Um, it's just constant reinvestment. It's never going to stop. Mm -hmm. I guess when I die, it will. <laughs> yes. But until then, yes, you're in business and you need to be investing in yourself. Absolutely. Um, and so one of the things I notice when talking to people when they're in that place is it is about uh, uh, fear around spending the money. Mm -hmm. um, and it is about the, the time. I find mm -hmm. them making the time. But the thing is, if you never make the time to work on your business, you're constantly in it. It's never going to get better. Yes. You're not going to create the vision. Mm -hmm. And so I like what you said about how, in your case, you have a family. So in my case, it's just me at this moment time. But when I know a lot of viewers, they'll have other dependents, right? Mm -hmm. So you had a conversation with everyone. You also looked at, okay, realistically, okay, this money is going to go towards building the business for whatever expenses those mm -hmm. are, and i got to ch shift my time here. And, you know, you knew that going in, and you made that decision and decided. Yes, exactly. And so I like that because, again, that goes back to taking the 100% responsibility. Mm -hmm. And then when you do that for yourself, it makes the ability to whomever you are working with, so whether people are working with a coach or a marketing firm or whatever they choose, mm -hmm. then it sort of also makes that relationship easier because you're the one in control anyways. Mm -hmm. And it's up to you to make the outcome happen. Absolutely. No matter what support you have around you. Absolutely. And if you if you don't make the, the commitment 100% and you don't you know recognize that there are sacrifices and adjustments that are going to have to be made in the interim, then I think that that will be a pressure on you Right. That would weigh you down so that you wouldn't get the most out of the experience that was possible. Yes. Right? Yes. So for me, I very much needed to get <coughs> all those conversations mm. out of the way. Yes. And those, you know, take a look at, you know, okay, what am I going to take from this budget to align to this budget? And, you know, I, but once the decisions were made. Yes. I didn't question it anymore. No. And what energy was freed up to focus on the process? There you go. And although it, you had to take a step back yeah. in some respects... Um, stepping back and putting the systems and the processes in place makes it so that there's so much more potential after it's right. been developed. You right. know, like if, you know, the first time you do a keynote speech, it takes hours and hours and hours to prepare yes. and train. Yes. And you're thinking, I might have made minimum wage on this if I was. <laughs> yes. But then you're like, okay, now that's done. I've learned from that. Yes. The next time... You know, it's still going to be right. a huge amount of time, but not as much as the first time. That's right. Similarly yeah. with your systems for your clients. Yes. You know, the invested mama method that you and I crafted from taking what I was doing and actually putting a process around it. Yes. I was doing it anyway, but now we have an so actual four-step process that our clients can go to. They know exactly what to expect next, and we've got all the templates and checklists to go along with that or in the process of getting all those finalized. Yeah. And... The time that's gone in is going to save me immense amounts of time down the road. Absolutely. And is going to make my clients feel so empowered. You yes. know, they're already invested in their lives, hence <clears throat> the name. And yes. now they're going to have some tools to actually make that process easier. Yeah. Because they don't need anything to make their lives any more difficult than they are. That's no, why I've, de does. Yeah. I've developed this. So uh, it's, you got to know sometimes you got to step back to move forward. Love it. Yeah. Love it. So, Jackie, now, if anyone wants to get in contact with you, and whether that's because they realize, hang on, I don't have all my ducks in a row financially, mm -hmm. um, or they want to connect with you about being an entrepreneur or what have you, can you please tell everyone where they can find you? They can find me right now. I'm developing a website, so Facebook would be the best place to reach me today, okay. and that's at Facebook slash Invested Mama. Uh, they can also email me at Jackie at investedmama.com awesome. and, uh, and sign up for my email um, distribution list because I'm going to be doing Invested Mama Minutes in the new year. Yeah. And uh, sure, going to be quick. to the point. You got 60 <laughs> seconds. Really That's gonna, all it's going to take. Yeah. Yes. And, uh, and hopefully we can connect that way. Awesome. And Jackie also has a blog uh, with 
Yes. Well, for us, it's a local newspaper. It's our, our biggest newspaper in the province, but the Telegram. Mm -hmm. So how can they find that? If they go to the telegram.com okay. and scroll down about halfway on the main page, they'll see on the right-hand side, the Investor Mama, my picture, and all the blogs are there. Perfect. Okay. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you. This was awesome. Thank you so much for being here. And um, we want to hear from you now as well. What do you think about this? And have you ever felt the way that Jackie felt and moved through? Were there things that you did that have worked for you to move through these fears and, and come to a new platform? Do you have a question for Jackie? If you do, put in the comments below. Make sure you like this. Share it on social media. We love the love. And uh, come back next week for another great episode of The Magic of Marketing. See ya. Thank you. Bye.